On December 4, 2024, the Royal Malaysian Navy, RMN, officially began the construction of its literal mission ship batch 2, LMSB2, at Istanbul Shipyard in Turkey. This significant milestone marks the start of a crucial project aimed at enhancing Malaysia's maritime defense capabilities. Under the LMSB2 initiative, three ships will be constructed based on the Ada-class corvette design, selected through an agreement between Malaysia and Turkey in June 2024. These ships are expected to play a pivotal role in securing Malaysia's vast maritime zones, which include strategic waters like the South China Sea, the Straits of Malacca, and the Sulu Sea. The Ada-class corvette, originally developed under Turkey's Miljam program, serves as the foundation for the LMSB2 project. This advanced design is already operational in the Turkish and Pakistani navies, with additional units under construction for the Ukrainian Navy. The Ada-class design is highly versatile supporting multiple mission types, including anti-surface warfare, ASUW, anti-air warfare, AW, asymmetric warfare, ASYW, and electronic warfare, EW. Its selection by Malaysia came after careful consideration of alternative designs, including South Korea's HDC, 2000 by Hyundai Heavy Industries and Italy's FCX-15 by Fincantieri. However, the Ada-class stood out due to its excellent operational performance, compatibility with Malaysia's requirements, and the ability to integrate future naval subsystems for more than 50 Turkish defense companies. STM, the Turkish company leading the project, is responsible for the full life cycle of the LMSB2 vessels, including design, project management, material procurement, assembly, testing, and integrated logistic support, ILS. This collaboration marks Malaysia's first defense acquisition through a government-to-government, -government, G2G agreement, highlighting the growing defense ties between Malaysia and Turkey. STM's extensive experience with the Ada-class corvette, including previous builds for Turkey, Pakistan and Ukraine, likely played a key role in Malaysia's decision to select this design. The LMSB2 ships will measure 99.56 meters in length, have a displacement of approximately 2,500 tons, and accommodate 111 personnel. They will be powered by a combined diesel and diesel, CODAD propulsion system, featuring four diesel engines that allow for a top speed of 26 knots, a cruising speed of 14 knots, and an operational range exceeding 4,000 nautical miles. With an endurance of 14 days, these vessels are designed for long-duration operations and will be equipped with a helipad and hangar for a 10-ton helicopter and unmanned aerial vehicles. UAVs. One of the most notable aspects of the LMSB2 project is the integration of cutting-edge defense systems from Turkish suppliers. Aselsan, a leading Turkish defense company, will provide the 3D surveillance radar, fire control radar, electronic support measures, ESM, and chaff decoy systems. Havelsan will supply the combat management and gunfire control systems. The ships will be equipped with surface-to-surface -surface missiles, SSMs from Roketsan, including the Atmica missile, as well as two quad-packed vertical launch systems, VLS, for 16 Haegung surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, from South Korea's LIG NEX-1. The vessels will also be armed with a 76mm main gun, a 30mm secondary gun, and decoy launcher systems. The LMSB-2 project is part of Malaysia's broader efforts to modernize its naval forces under the 15-to-5 transformation program. This plan aims to streamline the RMN fleet by reducing the number of classes from 15 to 5 core classes to improve operational efficiency and reduce costs. Key acquisitions in this transformation include the Maharaja Lela class frigates, Kadok class offshore patrol vessels, multi-role support ships, MRSS, and Scorpene class submarines. The launch of the KD Maharaja Lela frigate in June 2024 marked a major milestone in this program. The LMSB-2 ships will play a central role in the RMN's efforts to bolster patrol and surveillance capabilities across Malaysia's maritime zones. These zones are crucial not only for national security but also for economic prosperity, as they include some of the world's busiest trade routes, rich natural resources, and critical areas for oil and gas exploration. However, Malaysia faces significant security challenges, including territorial disputes, illegal fishing, smuggling and piracy particularly in the South China Sea, the Straits of Malacca, and the Sulu Sea. In response to these challenges, Malaysia is enhancing its maritime security through the acquisition of 18 literal mission ships, LMS, to improve surveillance, patrol, and law enforcement across its vast maritime domain. The LMSB-2 ships will be crucial for a range of missions, from anti-surface warfare and mine warfare to intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR operations. 
they will be equipped to respond to emerging threats and support joint operations with regional partners. In the South China Sea, Malaysia continues to assert its rights over its exclusive economic zone, EZ, and conducts oil and gas exploration despite objections from China. The Malaysian Navy, through regular patrols, ensures that these activities are safeguarded. The Straits of Malacca, one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, also requires constant vigilance, which is bolstered through initiatives like the Malacca Straits Patrol, aimed at combating piracy and smuggling. Additionally, Malaysia collaborates with Indonesia and the Philippines on joint patrols in the Sulu Sea to address transnational crimes such as piracy and kidnapping. As construction of the LMSB-2 ships progresses, Malaysia's naval modernization efforts are set to significantly enhance the RMN's ability to secure its maritime zones and address regional security threats. The LMSB-2 ships are expected to be delivered by the end of 2027, contributing to Malaysia's long-term defense strategy and ensuring its continued maritime security. This project not only strengthens bilateral ties between Malaysia and Turkey, but also marks a major step forward in Malaysia's commitment to protecting its national interests in an increasingly complex and contested maritime environment.